Breaking news, everybody. Chris Sale gets traded to the Atlanta Braves. And the Red Sox receive a young second baseman. Now, I forgot the young second baseman's name because I haven't looked into it. But what? I mean, I'm not mad about it. I'm okay with this. One, Chris Sale's getting old. Two, 80% of the time he's injured the past four years. He was one of our best pitchers, though, this um, decade. Definitely. He won us the 2018 World Series. He, I, he pretty much carried especially in the pitching rotation for the 2018 year for the Red Sox when they won the World Series against the Dodgers. Um, it's sad for him to go. He's going to the Atlanta Braves, and we get um, a young Braves second baseman for the Red Sox, which is good, which is cool. Um, his first ever home run was at Fenway Park over the Green Monster, so hopefully many more uh, um of that hopefully will happen when he's in a Red Sox jersey for the 2024 season. It's December 30th, 2023, so uh, Happy New Year, everybody. Hope you, guys, hope you guys had a great Christmas. Go check out the Christmas vlog. Actually, as I'm recording this tomorrow, I am going to be recording the New Year's vlog at the family's house. So that will be up sometime in the first week of January. Um, so can't wait for that. We'll see Boone, the dog, and Hazel, and everybody. I'm only doing one day of recording, which is tomorrow at the family's house. So it probably won't be as long as a vlog. But I'll still try to make it the most entertaining vlog we've ever had. That's always the goal. But anyways, back to Chris Sale. Um, so he's going to the Braves. We also picked up another pitcher. I think he was from the White Sox. I don't know anything about that guy. Again, it's at least the Red Sox are spending their money. Because usually when we talk about the Red Sox, when we rant about them, they don't spend money. But this time they are. And they got rid of Chris Sale. So I've been talking about the Red Sox offseason. This is my third year of doing this. I started in 2021. It's 2023. About to go into 2024. It's my third year doing this. And this is the first year I can say that the Red Sox are actually doing stuff. They, they've done some small stuff the past two years, but not as much as this year. And I think they might be learning their lesson. Hopefully. Um, I hope Chris Sale does awesome in Atlanta. Nothing against Chris Sale of him going to Atlanta. Like I said, I'm okay with this trade. Again, he's getting old. His great days are behind him back in 2018 and maybe a year before that or after that. Between year 2017 and 2019 was his best. Um, but picking up this young second baseman from the Braves. Again, I forgot his name. I'm sorry. I think it's a good pickup. And I think, th I think the Red Sox could win this trade. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I think the Braves could as well because who knows? Chris Sale could be healthy the entire year and pitch really good for the Braves. And the Braves have all these other firepower teams. I could Maybe they'll win a World Series. Who knows? They won it back in 2021 against the Astros. Still happy about that till this day. Uh, congratulations to the Texas Rangers winning the World Series this year. Um, I kind of wanted both teams to win because the Diamondbacks haven't won it since 2001. And the Texas Rangers, that was their first ever World Series championship. So I was kind of going for both teams. But anyways... Um, I just think I, I like the trade. Let me know what you guys think in the comment sections about the trade. If you're a Braves fan, let me know what you think of uh, what you think of it. Me as a Red Sox fan, out of ten, I would say about a. I would probably say a seven. I was gonna say six, but I bumped it up to a seven because of Chris Sale's great pitching days were like three, four years ago. So. We'll see what happens. This is just a quick little video just to let you guys know what happened today because this came out today. So we'll see what he does on the Braves and we'll see what the Braves young second baseman does for the Red Sox. And next video on this channel will most likely be the New Year's vlog. And if you haven't checked out the Christmas vlog or any of the vlogs because they're one of my favorite videos to make on the channel, definitely go check it out. I have a playlist of all the vlogs. And uh, yeah, I can't believe we've made, we've made around like 30 vlogs already in the past like two, three years, so it's amazing, we're, we're gonna keep going with it, vlog schedule if you wanna know, we're about to record the New Year's one, potentially my brother's birthday, if my aunt and uncle comes down, we'll, uh, we'll put, that scared the living daylights out of me, oh my god, hold on everybody, technical issues here, there we go, <laughs> that scared the hell out of me, um, what I was trying to say is that next vlog after New Year's could be my brother's birthday, my aunt and uncle comes down because we were, we are planning, planning. This is not 
100% yet, but we are planning to go back to Supercharge. If you don't know what that is, it is a trampoline park up in Massachusetts, about an hour away from me. And I did a vlog there a long time ago. It was like two years, a little over two years. But I don't know how long you think two years is, but it was just over two years ago. It was December of 2021. It was my seventh vlog, only my seventh vlog on the channel. Um, new, the New Year's vlog will be vlog 30, vlog number 30. Um, so we'll go, we're going back all the way to vlog seven. So if we can go back there for my brother's birthday, which is at the end of January, which is about a month from now, that will be historic for the channel and great entertainment because it was like an hour long vlog. You got to go check that out. Vlog seven. It was a goat car place, trampoline park. The only thing I couldn't record there was a, a goat car because I can't be recording myself driving that. That would be dangerous and stupid. So I'm not going to do that. But definitely go check it out. We might be returning there. And then February, we'll be going, in the beginning of February, we'll be going to a Providence Bruins game. We did it last year. This is going to be our second annual year doing it. And then St. Patrick's Day in March. So that's the, uh, that's the schedule. And I just want to let you, know, you guys know about this Chris Sale trade because it's huge. Because it's Chris Sale. And he's been a big player for the Red Sox. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video, which will be the New Year's vlog. Peace out, everybody.